Well, hello. We're back in Adam. It is 7.13, so happy early evening to just before the end of the month. Or, you know, the last day of the month. This is good stuff. Things are coming into fruition. But, like, there are... I don't want to say whispers. They're like... They're like passing notes around in class. Not through the airplane mode. This is, um... Um, or like airdrop mode. This is just like passing notes. And um, I'm given so much information, a foreboding of things to come that are like right around the corner and some that are just playing out right now. Remember, things are getting played out per like, you know, it's weird when I do a divination. I love it though. It's definitely like puzzle pieces where I do the actual divination and then, um, the channeled music comes in during and after, and sometimes before, right before um, doing the reading. And then um, it, when I migrate it to the um, next um, platform, um, there's more that comes in to solidify it. Not just like maybe the thumbnail art, which I haven't worked on in like a long time. I just do like a quick layover kind of thing, just pull it together. But um, there's that, and then the titling of it. So they're just independent thought forms that it just, it's so reassuring for me. <laughs> because then I realize how it all pieces together. Um, so it's wonderful. And I know basically what sources they come from. Yeah, I just got a flicker of light that was um, kind of a, like a dancing light rather than a flicker. So as you can see, I painted my nails in order to force myself into self-care, like chill, just chill. When you go into self-care, it doesn't mean like hustling to get X amount done to um, <clears throat> uh, knock down so many things on your list. Like You have to remember the care part of it, you know? <clears throat> So that's where I'm at right now. And so welcome back exclusively to the most ethical, ethical grouping of all. <clears throat> um, best of the best practitioners of light and love who reciprocate, reciprocate their very best equally and always. So there's always something magnificent to bring to the table. I like it. It's good. <clears throat> so I had a little bit of a, like a power struggle today. I think mainly with myself. Got through some frustrations that had to do, like had some kind of monetary attachment to it. I did an earlier reading, which I had to like knock off into the archives until I could snip away at it a little bit because there was a lot of interference at the very end. As soon as I mentioned the GOVT. <laughs> and it, it's, it's okay, dude. It's like, and, and ladies and non-binaries and, you know, it's okay. I'm just figuring stuff out right now. And I would really like to, for people to like, have some common etiquette. No, not common, because who knows what common is nowadays or tomorrow days. Let's let's, let's just say just <laughs> some morals. Come on. And uh, yeah, I I just I found myself getting a little heated about um, the what ifs part and throwing down some consequences. But, um, so I, people are trying to figure out, the ones that are really in fear are trying to strategize ways in order, like they're using their creative freedoms, which really isn't, out of box, you know, they're, they're using it like for just foul purposes. So it's, it's definitely self-limiting for them. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, they're f- trying to find, like, sh- like strategize how to shut me up or how to only get certain facets of information rather than, you know, like, it's, it's, it's I've got to surrender at some point. Just surrender it. I'm just going to let it up to God. The highest power source. Thanks so very much for handling the rest that is within your expertise. (laughs) I shall watch, observe, experientially learn. So thanks for keeping me close. (laughs) I love it. They're so good. (laughs) You know, especially, I've said this before, but especially during, like, bad times, the worst times, um, I, I always find it comforting to thank spirit, like, my helpers, they're so good, you know, I just, um, I, I don't want to lose sight of that, you know, um, and so it's not like an SOS call, it's just like, well, at least I have you guys. I know that not everything appears to be what it seems. Or seems to be what it appears. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, I what originally inspired me to start this reading, or, you know, get back on here, um, at least as a placeholder, um, was that, like, thinking back, because I didn't like the, the energy that, um, that was very legit, I was told, um, with that initial reading today, but, so right now, I'm coming in with love, like the feel-good loves, not the tough cookie love, which I had some earlier today. I could it wasn't that good so I wouldn't subject myself to an experience that that's less than for either source for the me for me nor the memory of the cookie I want I want to keep it in within its good reps (laughs) it's it's heydays (laughs) so um yeah we had to part ways (laughs) um yeah so Okay, so the good vibes. Let's get back on track. Angels of light and love, I welcome you in to direct and protect these messages, our chakras, our auras, our space, our work, and that of our children. Thanks so very much. You're awesome. Um, so, thinking about that last grouping, I know as a grouping, they were not the best of intentions. I know that. You know, the, they had their own separate grouping before they let me in. So there were certain um, standards, norms, except, you know, what, what they found was originally acceptable. But since I came into the loop, things have changed for the better. <laughs> Not just for them, but like, I got to say also for me. I don't know how genuine, like, like truly genuine, but like, what I received, definitely, I still have good vibes from them. Not collectively, but um, for a good sum of them, I have a lot of love for them. You know, like, if I was supposed to like be interviewed by a spiritual employer from like Beyond the Veil, and they ask, like, they're just playing dumb, but they want me to know and acknowledge, like, okay, so what do you see as your weakness? Or what what do you consider a weakness? And what are your strengths? You know, those standard questions. I just have a lot of love for souls. So I tend to give them a larger benefit of the doubt. Is that how you say it? I give them more. More benefit to the doubt. Is that right? You know what I'm talking about. So I I see 
they're a light frequency and I interpret it like so. I treat them according to that. Not not their potentiality, but the certain patternings, like the, the light within them. Not what they could be, but as an expression within, you know, layered realities, what is, what I can see right then and there. Even if it's super duper, duper, duper buried. Um, yeah. So, you know, might come to like bite at me later. Yeah, you heard that little clang. I didn't mean for that to happen, but that was confirmation. Um, so it, I mean, I don't think I would change it. I would just be more, uh, I have to remember temperance in mind, right? Kind of just chill for a second. Don't get too excited about what you see right there because people take advantage of that. So I've come to learn in several revolutions. So anyway, uh, I got, th I caught the feels, you know, kinship feels off of several people. I know I was not there for very long, but honestly, when you read energy, especially on a level like that, it's good stuff. I don't know. I don't want to say that like I miss it, that I long for it, because it still feels like present, you know? It still feels alive and well. So it's just kind of like frozen in time. Like it's, I don't even want to say it's frozen. It's just like, it's still there. I don't know how to describe it. It's still like in the ethers. Like if I draw back to those energies, I they're still good. So, um, the cards haven't told me anything different. If I ever like inquire, just like within a two second read, um, or a ten second read. Let's just be a little honest here. Um, you know, more accurate, but. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it, it's good. Um, like, that's what I was going to say. Thanks for reminding me. Um, that we're, we're all working on something, you know, and we all have something to work on. And so, I don't know. I just feel like the feeling's mutual on that note. There may have been some, like, very taboo things in the way that I've handled certain situations. But, <laughs> dude, um, it, it worked. It That's the way I was supposed to for this realm. I was given a formal, like, unspoken welcoming to that. I mean... I was basically given something like as almost like an initiate to the grouping. Um, like something physical. And that was, that was nice. I, I just realized that I did. And I still have it. So it was nice. <laughs> like, I didn't know what it meant. I was like, what? That was, I just thought it was like a lighthearted, like, a little welcome, but I know I realized after the passing of time and I'm just remembering right now that it was more of like an initiate thing. Anyway. <laughs> so I'm still fond of, you know, certain energies there and I'd like to keep it that way. I hope they don't take advantage of, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I'm always put on, um, I'm always given notice if there's something foul, truly foul that I should be aware of. But, okay, so we are going to go with the Crystal Visions Tarot. Because I just discovered it in the, um, Druid, 
craft tarot. This is excellent. I don't know what to expect. I really don't. All right. So, enlighten love spirit. What are some messages to unfold? Especially just like... Being that we talked about it as like a supposed weak point of having that kind of love for others and holding it in a way that's like kind of catch and release where we don't need to really embellish any further, but like prompt it to embellish any further. It just does um, unfold on its own. Um and it's like passive way. I'm hearing like passive income. So it's it's just a uh, it's like wealth um while you sleep. You know, it's it's it brings in good dreams, good vibes. I like it. So like what do you want to say about that here? I'm like uh those supposed weaknesses that we have for others that are going through their own journey that is just or we had to like part the waves part the waves and part the ways yeah I think this is picking up from a reading within the past 24 to 48 hours one where we had to like kind of acknowledge that there has to be some kind of a separation in order yeah yeah I remember that okay I don't remember what cards we used but we did that so it's okay to hold um the good memories off of that. So what what else do you have to say about that? I'm gonna call upon um cosmic families of light and love as well, because okay. Nine of Swords Knight of Cups and Two of Cups. Oh, this is good. Nine of Swords usually means like you're, like you're stressing. You're ca your cup kept up at night, and um, like almost like an insomniac. But like with a dude, there's there's two full moons here back to back. Holy smokes. Um, but two of cups, that's automatic victory when it comes to the one-on-one, -on -one, like the heart to heart. This is, um, a sharing of cups. Like this is, oh my gosh, this is temperance, alchemy together. This is harmonization. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. And this is like total unicorn energy. Come on. Um, so this whole like, uh, idea of chivalry is dead. No, it's just transformed. <laughs> it's just transformed within the pages here. Oh, and now in the water. In the water. And then also kind of in the water right here. Um, so this is about the the posting that I... The, the reading that I did earlier today. It's picking up from there as well. Um, that I didn't post yet. I just kind of like left it in archive. Um... So there is a lot of like nostalgia behind this too. It's not just me feeling this way, um, which is luckily, thank goodness. We talked about reciprocation here. And um, this is actually very nice. <laughs> they see us as a little, it, like a little lily pad. <laughs> like we grow from the mud. <laughs> um... um Actually, we grow because of the mud. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a rising and ascension within the bodies of water for it to surface. Mm -hmm. That's how lily pads grow. Mm -hmm. And we've grown by several lily pad instances. <laughs> Do you see that? Her hair is strewn by it. Um, it it's being very committed to basically like the swamplands, to to a little pond. Um, mm -hmm. So it took a lot for us to rise to the occasion, but as well as um, rising to who we are and how we are at this moment. Very nice. High five. <laughs> <laughs> 
um, yeah, so, um, there's that, my hand, my right hand is tingling so much, it's like, almost like pulsating, throbbing, I'm telling you, I've seen a lot of crows lately, and usually that's not the best energy, but I've been getting it as like, you know, there's um, people who work in the dark that also like haven't completely lost it. They're just, you know, they've gone through some things and they're still going through some things, but not all of those things, you know, since we entered the picture. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine crows, definitely. Something about counting crows. I have to, I have to describe this stuff. Hold on. I don't know too much of their music. But, um, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Counting crows. So, um, I noticed that there, um, has been some protection energy sent my way. I don't know exactly by who, um, or how many. But being that there's nine looking over me on each sword, it's like, don't stress. We'll stress out. Oh, that's, that's so sweet. That's so sweet don't stress like we'll we'll allow you to um we'll absorb that energy we'll we'll um be on the lookout for you tina um so you just rest here and these swords like don't don't stress you're not gonna have that one extra that's gonna like stab you in the back like no um no more um like you can be ready and have that uh, an another sword right by you um but i have so many protectors here let me tell you this, okay, um, the person that I was reporting to at the last job, um, that did me wrong, um, um, I realized what had happened, okay, definitely power struggles there, and it was just so effortless, it was so weird, like, I, I was told the day before that, um, the previous CEO and their biggest investor were, was going to be coming in the next day. And so that's right before leaving. I was, you know, also a reminder that I was going to be working in the warehouse area. And um, so to dress accordingly. So I'm like, okay, I complied to that. Um, and, um, and that was just peachy keen fine. But that was the very same evening that, I received a complaint phone call from my rep saying that I was not putting more effort and that, you know, I, it, the way it was described was the tone was given as though I was like bending over in, um, I don't even want to like, how this, like, um, painting me in a very poor light with my presentation and my packaging, basically. Um, when, <laughs> I don't even know, like, no, 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 that was not the very same night. Okay, so let's rewind here for just a second. So, on the very next day, okay, um, I, um, I dressed accordingly, and I, I met the, um, it was it wasn't like a formal thing. I had to ask my boss um at the time uh something about something that was very hot, like delivery for a client. And um it was just like kind of like a next day thing. So I had to interrupt that interaction. Just it was like very barely like small thing. And dude, the guy that that person that dropped in was so nice. Like, I was told that they're, <sighs> it's like, the way that they introduced that th this person was almost like, like holding their breath, almost. Um, like, uh, there could be, how do I say it? I mean, if it's their biggest investor, it's naturally going to induce that kind of energy anyway. Um, but there, there were certain, like, a certain inference to being upset over in previous instances and it's showing and legitimately showing so 
Um, I'm not going to embellish any further on it. I'm not going to like detail that any further because there are other, other factual things that say that it's legit. Um, so when I had met them though, he was so nice like so welcoming and open to my energy and dude I was wearing long sleeve black crew neck shirt khakis like just relaxed fit all good sneakers whatever and um like an exact replica of how all the other dudes dress there and um he was so nice so he said that he, like, it was like he already had known me. And he was kind and, like, he was, I don't even know how to describe it. Because I described it perfectly um, to my boss at the end of the day. At my boss at the time at the end of the day. I said, you know, it's really not that bad. He was, in fact, I, he was really, um, how do I say it, hum, humbly welcoming uh, upon the first greeting. Um... And I really appreciate that because um, you don't often see that. And the more that I stressed that, I just like reiterated it in different verbiage. It just, it was very refreshing. And um, almost like I remember his eyes and they were very, his, his facial features, his expression was very kind and... Um, it was, they were softened and they weren't, per, he, there was no indication of being perplexed. Um, it was warm and it was open. And when you're in an environment that can read within energetic frequencies of its nuances, um, especially developing that yourself, um, I realized then that, um, there was something that didn't, my boss in hearing those things, there was a, like a tinge of jealousy. And I didn't understand it. I was like, he wasn't open to that. He didn't like me stating that because it reiterated his notions as well. Like, I, I don't understand like why. So um, it wasn't until that evening um, wh which is when I got that call, um, complaining about my packaging presentation or whatever, and that I wasn't putting enough effort or something of that sort to my presentation, that I wasn't something, something of that sort. And it wasn't like I ever had a talking to, it wasn't like, especially, it was just like double talk as far as There are a lot of other things that are tied to it, but that was the absolute number one thing that just like um, broke the the straw that broke the camel's back. Meeting the previous owner slash largest investor of the company that I got along really well within just a few seconds upon intro, like that I received um, credibility automatically, um, in a way that they have never seen before. Not only did it irritate him, but also the, um, um, one other, um, supposedly high ranking lady there, um, that I don't even understand. Like I didn't flirt my way in. I didn't, schmooze I didn't I just I was just like regular business etiquette like common like you know I, I, and I wasn't rigid I was just <sighs> I was very respectful and I I don't but that that's how I knew especially in absolute hindsight that it was a definite power struggle they that that was the thing that they absolutely did not like my ex-boss absolutely didn't like that I was highly, um, 
I guess, respected or favored or something. I don't even want to use the word favor because it was legit. Um, that, that I had that and I received that energy from that particular person. So, I mean, regardless, I'm just, I don't even know how we got to that point, but I'm told to talk about it. Um, and so when it comes to this energy, just regrouping back to here, that I have others, like other people notice this too. You know, regardless of what ranking as far as um, what your title is or ranking within the introduction of a particular grouping or inner circle, they observe this energy, especially once removed, once or twice removed. And um, so they're, they're, they're watching, like, they're watching over me. Like, some also just, like, returning or just, like, crowning achievement, like, just arriving. Yeah, that's so sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. So I noticed through the crows how they're behaving around me in like the 3D realm when I'm out. They're, they're here to back me. They're here to like watch out for me. And that's out of like legit respect. So I, I can get more sleep now. And... So I don't know if that means the same thing for you, but since I've been talking about, you know, in the essence of we, um, I would very much drive it back to that point. Well, they see us as this a magical being, this fae-like being, that you've earned your wings. So, um, very interesting. Okay. Okay. We have, anyway. <laughs> they just they just have a different path in life. I mean, I guess we all do, but they chose how to work things differently. But still, it doesn't mean that it limits them to executing in a way that um, can fall out of their norm. Um... Anything else that you want to say about this spirit? About this love for, a, you know, a, like a non-traditional grouping? Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, uh, Justice in reverse, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Oh my gosh, my stomach. They say that this is all underground energy. That I'm very much a part of them. Not only the Queen of Pentacles, first off, like, the mom of the crew. Um, but also the high priestess really undercover who can, who masters the art of, um, dark night of the soul, um, within its deepest recesses within each of us, not just through self, but through the all, because it is, um, very much in the middle and how that leads to the projection of justice in the coming, in the making, in the melding. Um, so this is very much very, very fast paced energy. They're not used to this. So they're, <laughs> it's like this, um, new roller coaster that they're like, they're highly engaged with. So, um, so I see I X and then X I here. Um, so one, I don't know why I'm thinking one, two, two, one, but it's like, um, I don't know, I, X, X, I, something maybe in Morse code that I, I, maybe it's like one, ten, ten, one. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'll write that down to look up Morse code. I, I don't even know if that's how it works. Interesting. Hmm. But, like, to me, I mean, if we're going to look at it, just aesthetically speaking, it's like um, X, X in brackets. So when we're looking at, oh, my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. So it's like um, 
I don't know. So, uh, in brackets, X, and then it, the X. So, it's almost like, um, what do you call it? J um, bringing down, like, divining, um, um, judgment. Yeah. To what's beneath the surface. It's its own little formula right there. It's within the brackets. Um, yeah. The dark night of the soul brings that in. Yeah. Um, definitely. That's what it's saying. Um, well, hello there. Um, so for some of you, the number 32 might be of significance, especially when we're looking at the bracket energy. Yeah, I really feel like that because we have two here. Um, so one plus one, or actually, no, it's 11 right there. Um, looking at it just within this state, I don't know why there's like this more, this like encrypted energy here, um, coded very much. So within the brackets, we have X and that looks like a plus sign plus, um, X. So that's 20 within the brackets, um, plus 11. So it's 32, maybe a significant number for you, whatever that means. Um, so on the surface level, like what we can see, um, is very much focused energy. I mean, haste is waste, so we're we're not like moving within that degree, within that severity. But underneath the surface, there's a lot going on, a lot. Fast-paced recovery, movement, um, diction within judgment, very much eloquent within how we engross ourselves within the dark night of the soul, how we interpret that. And this is very much recovery because we see tons of butterflies surrounding her. And picking up from the energy is goddess Kali there as well. Definite. Because that reminded me, oh my gosh, I was like, I was just about in tears when I um, uh, channeled in that song, Hymn for the Weekend. Um, by Coldplay and Beyonce, um, and how the butterfly at the, I mean, like just even the implications within that culture and how Goddess Kali came out at the very end, especially just as a note notation through the butterfly energy. Um, I, I think that's what I recall. Was it? Was it that or sacrificial also where like at the very end, the butterflies on the astronaut, like just that blue is very, very significant. It's almost like what a Tiffany's blue, like the teal or whatever. No, that blue that since we talk about Kali is like coming out everywhere in all of these readings. So we see that again here as a high priestess and, and the butterflies. So it's, it's bringing in all of those messages together. That's crazy. That's crazy good. Okay. So I like this. Um because it's it's um finding clarity in, in the darkness. Like it's uh adjusting our eyes. Um it's how do I say it? It's like not being afraid of the dark anymore. Yeah. Like, for reals, in practice. Okay. Anything else you want to say, Spirit, before I move on to Bananagrams? Crystal Visions Tarot is working out. I like it. I like it because it's kind of like a hidden gem in the box that I had for um, the Druid, you know, Wiccan type of tarot. I can see why. Now I, what, like, the mentality behind it. Okay. Especially with what we're talking about, the content. I really didn't even think about it. I was like, that's strange. That's strange you're here. Okay. 
on the Hierophant in reverse. Okay, so they're very much like-minded individuals. I mean, it's um, the counterpart to the High Priestess being the High Priest. Um, yeah, practiced within um, several avenues as well. Um, yeah, several um, studies. Mm. So very much open-minded. And therefore, because of that, to gain higher practice, they have to go like kind of undercover. You see the keys on the crown? That's funny. I'm hearing, you know, like instead of bees in the trap, it's keys in the trap. <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, that's it. And saying to to gain higher knowledge, especially with the frequency of that um, open, re like that receptivity of openness. And I mean, they're very much like me. So um, to go about it, to to maneuver um, better through it, um, they could be very much um, within personal studies or like within a secret society that's just like underground, underground, undercover. So like when it comes to if they do this with my crystals or anything that I have left behind or whatever, then they're going to like, I'm going to tell all that kind of thing. I, there's something about this where it's not about the takedown of a company or certain, you know, groupings. It's about like a restructuring, like a re reformation that benefits, um, us collectively. So, I don't see myself saying or indicating the name of the company that I used to work for. Um, it's more like <sighs> there's something worthwhile preserving um, within its individuals, um, the ones that I found bond with. So you know. Part of the f previous reading um, from this morning was to kind of just like hold my tongue, just be patient. It, it was a message for basically um, um, both energies or all parties, actually. Um, just basically from that channel, it should hold sustenance because there were greens in it, you know, so... Anything else? Hmm. Okay. Um, this one that showed up. It's a hangman in reverse. Yeah. The, the, the one that had the greens in the mouth was the hanged man. That's crazy. From the other deck in there. But um, this is hangman in reverse, so it's coming into um, enlightenment from looking at things objectively. It's um, this reminds me of like a ballerina slipper. I don't know. Some of you guys might enjoy ballet like secretly or um, appreciate that art. In yeah, I'm getting I'm getting like the reference to like sugar plum fairy, sugar plum fairy. That's that's a day in the life. Um, but I don't know. I'm getting something inverse, like a life in the day. So there's something about being tangled up in aerial acrobatics. I know what that means for the company that I used to work for. Um, but you know, that's aerial acrobatics. It's, um, you know, that ribbon string thing that what, the, what they do when they unwind, but this is very much being bound in it, like strewn in it. So previously anyway, um, very much laced and proper in that, like very confined, but here, because it's in reversal, I would suppose that it's an unwinding or that there's still a binding to it, but at least there's an acknowledgement to it. And then you can unwind yourself. 
Hmm. I'm getting the latter, that it's more of an awareness to the binding. Okay, bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands again. Ding, 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 ding. You got it. And we have an eagle in the background. A lioness here instead of a lion. Holding a crystal ball. What? Or There's several. There's three bubbles here. Orbs. Oh, this is very much like considered a triple threat. Um, but a lioness playing with a bubble, the concept of that. You know how fragile, how docile you would have to be in order to, um, you know, uh, play with something that fragile. Um, but they're saying that even, um, like as a witch, as a, um, divination artist, um, what were you going to say about that? that? It has something to do with work because that's uh, the orb like structure is like um, three of pentacles right here. So, and then we have two of wands here because we have the, the candles on both sides. Um, that's sizing things up correctly and always. In the work atmosphere, within co-creation, within taming, within temperance, um, within manifestations. Uh, very attractive. Like, it's it's blatant here. Like, if you can't handle this, you got to click out or whatever. So, just, um, but this very much reminds me of, like, the implication of labia. But, you know, like, it's, it's just... <laughs> That's funny. Um, so there's that that is very much noticed in this energy. The power is ha it's having the prowess, but very docile. Like, um, doesn't matter how discreet we are, how like um, like chill we are. It's 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 obvious. Um, yeah, that's interesting. But I love this because it's showing um, the Queen of Wands almost like also embodying the strength card, but the divine feminine strength, being a lioness, um, that um, her witchery, her magic, her power has grown within sizable considerations. It's not like this little kitty cat sitting on her lap. It's not like it, it, this is the biggest cat that I've seen in the Queen of Wands card without it being a masculine energy. Do you know how awesome that is? That's like revolutionary. It's appreciating what we bring to the table, who we are as we are um, within our normal state. Mm -hmm. This is like dripping with sunset energy. So um, it's like originally there was like a black wall, like a dark, just darkness behind her. But then this paint is coming through almost like an ombre type of effect. And it's dripping through the scene. So this sunset is very much like, like lava, <laughs> hot. <laughs> it's like um, piercing within its vibes because the lava is so hot that I could, you know, as you come closer to it, you don't even have to touch it to disintegrate. That's like sun, solar energy at its, like, within its, like, highest magnitude. Definitely. So, um, yeah. Okay. All right, top of the deck is four of wands in reverse. So, um, very much a root system. Um, building, making um, a house into a home and a cave into um, what? Um, into a place of comforts, basically. 
Yeah, within its deepest recesses. Again, we have the bubble energy here. Two of them. So that's two of pentacles. It's finding harmony within this these interactions. So it's like almost like we save the day here. Um, coming through, you know, being greeted. So instead, here we're the, like we're becoming off as the night energy, just coming through this portal. Um, so that's very much appreciated. That's so nice. That's so nice. That's so good. But again, this is like the catch and release, also it's because it's not just coming into a portal, but also um, being prepared to be let out of it as well. Yeah, again, with that lotus flower energy, remember how when we we're talking about the um, how I channel and there's like it's different pieces to it. So there was that um, it's reminding me of that titled one where it's like blood in, bud out instead of blood out. Um, but again, that um, what do you call it? The lotus flower energy coming out of the mud, um, coming to the surface, emerging. It's an emergence. So this is very much blood in and butt out. It's a reversal. Very much undercover energy. Oh, and it split itself to this. Queen of Swords in reverse. So uh, we've brought truth and light into that. Again, we see the butterflies here. Something about a butterfly effect. I don't know what that means. I have to look that up. But there's, there's more than a dozen here. There's clearly like two dozen here at least yeah two and now i have to count it four six eight ten twelve two four six eight ten twelve oh my gosh it was it's double a dozen that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy it was correct <laughs> that's crazy okay <laughs> um yeah so, oh my gosh, she's wearing also armor. I didn't notice that. It's built into her dress. Like the elven. Um, very, um, like, excellent at their craft. Like, the very best at craftsmanship. Wow. That's so crazy. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, let me put this off to the side, off to the side. Let me have some coffee tea. Mm. Very nice. Okay, we'll put that there. Put this there. Now it's Bananagrams time. 8.06. Oh, you know what? Oh, mm. the um, Queen of, like when I set it down, I was trying to do it very gently. And as soon as I put it down, the Queen of Swords like, um, revealed underneath it the ace of cups in reversal so it's like it's a victory cup let me show you show that much but behind it guess what the page of swords is in reverse so this is like very much like okay page of swords in reverse you know people who are just not fond of us who are very not confident about where they're at in life so they bend the truth they use things like data for their um own like l legitimacies um you know it's just um they abuse the truth they're spies etc but for us we're, we're more focused on our energy it becomes a learning opportunity that not everybody's gonna love you and that that's fine because those that you know really don't love you <laughs> Like, at that energetic frequency, don't love themselves. So, you know. It's kind of like, not my problem. <laughs> um, that's something that they need to work on. And um, the only way that um, you can enable them to learn is really just focusing on your own. Okay, so we have banana grams on. 
So like I said about painting my nails and making sure that I um, um, just regroup in like taking the necessary time. Yeah, they're not perfect, but it's like, do you remember? I saw glue here as well. So we're looking at the bonds. So we have A, and then what fell out of the thing is M. So about morning, I, I'm supposed to do that like the AM shift. Okay, E, G, K. So something about an E, K, G here, or a mage already. Um, mage, K. So magic. Like a magician, so it's like positive K. Oh, somebody wants to know, you know, it's like I already got a man. What is it? Uh, what do you hold on? Give me a second. I need to put this here and that there. <laughs> That's funny. What's your man gonna do with me? Okay, all right, positive K. That's coming through some energetic frequency there. P A Z G T E L I O N N U T L T E C A R. I see Lance. Um, Lenora. Um, Menora. <laughs> um, so some of you might be Jewish. Um, I think, I think a menorah is like the little top that spins. I mean, they can come in different sizes, but, um, yeah. Um, create, right? Hold on. Yeah. Um, Lenny, but with an IE. Um, gentle. Um, attract, um, again, emphasizing LOA, law of attraction, but there's also law of assumption, but this is definitely focusing on attract to that part. Game, um, Kami. Um, Leo, Leon, Leona, um, Tina, Trina, Nora, um, Elaine, um, Eric with a K, um, <clears throat> Loot, no. Wait, 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 wait. No. Um, do I see climate? I see climate here. I'm called to put that together. Oh, there's so... Wait. Um, Cleo. Um, neon. Tracy. Tori. Tara. Neil, Alan, um, Artie, Arnie, Paul, Polly, Paula. Do I see poultry? No, no, no. Um, Pam, Pamela, um, did I say Tori? Um, Callie, 
Rina, or Rina, Kat, it's K-A-T, or C-A-T, um, oh, I guess we have Eric with a C, too. Um, um, Mm. Again, we have Azurite here. Okay. Um. And we have Galena here as well. Mm -hmm. Um. We have coral again here, okay. And Cora for the name. Do I have Caroline? Caroline. Yeah, we have Caroline. Oh, that's a sweet song. Mm -hmm. Good times never seem so good. That's so sweet. <laughs> okay. Um. And we also have Carolina. We have Georgia. What, what's going on here? Um, but we have that song by, I think, Ray Ch Charles. Um, just an old sweet song with Georgia on my mind. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Okay. Um, um, Paulo, um, Nina, um, um, Tammy, um, Tim, um, Marie, Maria, um, there's so many names here. Holy smokes. Um, Connie. Huh. Um, Connor. Um, Zach. Something that I'm supposed to get from the Zap band. But also we're getting like, not just nudges, but like divine downloads that feel like almost like electrifying. Some electrocution. But, um, so we have, what do we say? Create? But we also have climate. I feel like climate is important here. Um, especially when we're, um... Climate is also a part of our investments. Like us just being there, whether we're like clocked in or clocked out, we're part of the climate. Okay. So we have the power to be able to change things. Um, yeah. Create avenues. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm called to put in both. I, I didn't know if I could do it until I actually did it. So yeah, sometimes it's kind of like that with us, huh? We don't know it until we actually do it. So we create the climate. Um, yeah. So I think we um, channeled in create first. So that's the magician energy. Climate is too, which is the high priestess. Knowing what to do with our, you know, our own involvements. So very much high priestess like in, in applications um, with the workings of the magician. The magi or mage. Um... Oh my gosh, I see MK Ultra here. This is this what it's the, with the remaining letters here as well. Hmm. I don't know what that means. I don't. I don't know what that means. But um, I see planet. No wait. Yeah. Planet. Okay. I'm told to put that together. So wait. K 
Can I? Hmm. Hold on. Planet. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm not focusing on that energy because I really don't know what that means at this time. Um, tongue? Kind of watch your tongue, Tina. But, like, it's not... I'm not going to discombobulate things in order to watch my tongue that much. So th th that's why it's not allowing for it right here. Some um, Somebody's um, initials may be TK, KT, or KC... Um, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying here. Okay. Um, um ink. So three being, um, the, um, what do you call it? The, um, Empress will be, um, planet. So that's talking about, um, high fertility, um, attraction, like the complete buy-in. I mean, she holds rights to the kingdom. Um, oh, King is four. Oh my gosh. First it was ink, but I, I have two G's here. So, um, ink, um, is transforming to King. Um, so that's four. That's the emperor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you're like playing checkers or whatever and you say like, king me. I think that's what they say. Yeah. Um, so I see also goat energy here. Also egg. Something about point. The, okay, so five would be... Um, what is it? Hierophant, um, uh, which is egg, which is pointing back to the high, um, I'm sorry, the Empress energy, um, planet. So it's the development, the fertility contribution to the planet. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, how the co-creation between us and, um, um, how far we've come uh, like the king me energy um is very much emperor like because it's allowing for the contribution of something to be um to come into fruition it's just about to break out of its shell mm -hmm. yeah out um so six is um it's about to bust out <laughs> um so that's the lover's card mm -hmm. highly favorable conditions so we have z left here um, trying to figure out where to put it. Um, hmm. I think I just had a bench, a little bit of sleep, um, today. Um, and I like kind of kicked myself a little bit for it because I thought, um, you know, that it delayed certain things, but it, it's only like, going to allow for more so it's just but I feel like there's two places that I can put um this so it's a to z so again knowing all of our resources knowing all of the characters um um yeah that that work has resources I like it because we could share it with the a in climate or planet it's legit so, um, I'm going to put it in climate because planet is just, um, it's particular to a certain, like, I don't know. I mean, the empress can do that, but at the same time, the high priestess, um, is a lot more on alert in applications. I, it's kind of like real time, like slotting in rather than going like passing from one um role to another to the empress state so it can be either way it can be either way um i 
feel like climate is also very conditional. I don't know. The first place that I saw it was planet. So I'm going to put it right there just because it's like within that body, it's LAN. So local area network. And I feel like that's a lot more giving there than the content context of climate. I mean, what is versus the conditions, you know what I mean? So I feel like there, there's a lot more power in that. Um, so let me just pull these cards here to show you what it's all about. Ugh, you know how beautiful this is because underneath the queen of wands was the star in reverse. Freaking awesome. You know, what are you going to say? So I got to add to that and beneath it, the sun card. <laughs> Jeez. Holy smokes. Okay. So I'll show you. I'll show you what this is all about. Okay, I'm just trying to sh sh like put everything here. Oh, that's funny because I'm going back to this, like the greens in the mouth is like put put your money where your mouth is. This is insane. I don't I'd like to lay out all the cards, but hold on. I want them to I want to remind myself what these what this all looks like, you know? It's it's so beautiful to me. Okay. Okay. Almost there. Almost there, Tina. <laughs> Almost there. Okay. See? Do you see? Do you see what we're talking about? But it's just it's so good. It's so good. Hold on, I gotta stretch. My arms are not that long. Oh, at least I have sweating. Did you see my freaking ends coming through? Okay. Uh, put it back nicely. Okay, wonderful. Super duper wonderful. Um, and so thank you to all my sponsors and supporters. Um, um, your donations provided in light and love are well received. Good applaud. Let's applaud. Okay. Be nice. Um, yeah, so it, it's all good. Um, thank you so very much for your contributions and giving me some, um, sleepy time, um, back. Thank you. Jeez, for real. Like, what is the price? You know how big of a blessing that is, honestly? Thank you. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> um, um, what else do you want to say? Um, yeah, I, I, that's, that's good. So, okay, now that this reading is officially over, I'm closing out all portals. I'm um, sending you all back with your appropriate karmas due, helping with that rollout. And, of course, the transmutation. <laughs> Thanking you for your respect in advance. For my time, my space, my energy, my work, and that of our children's. And then some. Okay. So, enlightened love. Sending you all back. Closing all portals. Now.